skeleton shown your much measuring right cervical lateral bending with an ankle dollar. Okay. So for right cervical lateral bending, it's just going to be the, the top of the head. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fairly simple. <laughs> Mind if I move your pants over yeah, to the <laughs> Okay, all right. So, Morgan, if you will come and sit in this chair for me. All righty, Morgan. So, what I want you to do is I want you to turn your head and bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, okay? All right. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that motion for me. Okay, so I am going. 25 degrees. For right lateral bending, we're going to put the axis on S2 here, and we're going to have the distal arm pointing up towards C7, which is this one, and then the proximal arm is going to be perpendicular to the floor. Okay. Now, show me on there how you find S2, how you find C7. On the scale? Oh. Yeah, like, like pretend like the paper. Okay, so the um, PSISs, so S2 is going to be almost directly in between those. And then for C7, when she flexes her neck, it's going to be pretty much the most prominent vertebrae. You got it. All right. Let's do it. Alrighty, Morgan, if I could have you stand up, and then if I can ask you to remove your shirt, please. Let's get this straight. Excuse me. All right. And I'm going to have you um, face toward his cat, so we have room to do this. Okay, and you said right side, correct? Okay, alrighty. Um, Morgan, do you mind if I, if you roll down your pants just a little bit? I'm so sorry, my hands are frozen. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, Morgan. So if you'll flex your, if you'll bend your neck down, so bring your chin towards your chest. All right, so Morgan, the motion that I want you to do is I want you to bring your fingers, your right fingers, down your leg. Just slide it down in one second, okay? Okay, Morgan, so go ahead and do that motion for me. I'm doing 20 degrees there. your sternocleomastoid, which does um, capital extension. Then you have your upper traps, your splenius um, capitis and your splenius services, um, your levator scap, your erector spinae, and then your um, intertransverse uri and your interspinalis. Okay. All right, Morgan. If I could have you lay on your stomach, and we're going to have your head off the table just a little bit. So if you'll just rest your head in my hands like this, okay? I've got you, you can relax, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is I want you to bring your head up and look towards the ceiling as much as you can, okay? All right, so go ahead and do that motion for me. All right, so she's a three. All right, so Morgan, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm just gonna put you right here, okay? And I'll be here just in case, all right? So I'm gonna apply max resistance, all right? So I want you to hold, so hold, okay? All right, so now we're gonna do mod to max. I want you to hold, okay? So hold. Now I want you, I'm gonna do mod resistance, okay? So hold, hold, okay? 
Now I'm going to do men. All right, so I want you to hold. So hold. Okay, and you can relax your head. So she's a three plus. Yes. Can you just take the one in here, please? Yes. All right. So you can relax my hands, Morgan. All right. So I'm going to palpate here. All right, Morgan, I want you to try and do that motion for me. So I want you to try to look up towards the ceiling, okay? All right, so try, try. So that's concentric, and you can relax in my hands, Morgan. All right, and then eccentric, I'm going to put you in the motion. All right, and I want you to hold. So hold, 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 hold. Nice job. Okay, so trunk flexors would be your external oblique, your internal oblique, and your rectus abdominis. And then your transverso, transverse abdominis stabilizes. Okay, gotcha. Is there anything else you can do? Um, there is, and it's on the tip of my tongue, but it's not coming out. Um, okay, so external oblique, internal oblique, rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis. Oh, iliopsoas does that, yes. Okay, alrighty. So Morgan, if I could have you lay on your back with your head up here. Okay, so I'm gonna have us start at five. So Morgan, what I want you to do is I want you to put your hands behind your head and I want you to lift up as much as you can, okay? So go ahead and do that for me. You can, all right, so I want you to put your arms over your chest, cross them like this, perfect, and I want you to try that same motion. Okay, so try, you can, all right, so. I want you to put your arms out by your side, and again, just try that same motion for me. Okay, so she's not a five, four, or a three. All right, Morgan, so what I want to ask you to do is if you will try to lift just your head for me. Okay? Okay, so she can lift her head, so she's a two out of five. Okay, I'm sorry, my hands are so cold. Okay, so palpate the rectus abdominis. All right, Morgan, I'm going to ask you to try to do that motion. So lift your head up for me. Okay, and then eccentric, I'm going to lift your head up and I want you to hold here, okay? So hold, 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 perfect, good job. 